गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक बट बिफोर यू गो टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लेट इज रिवाइज थ्रू वाट एवर वी हैव डन द लास्ट क्लास दैट इज प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ साउंड सो एज यू ऑल नो स्टूडेंट्स साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम टू प्रोपोगेट एंड दैट मीडियम कैन बी आई द सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स और गैसेज वी डिस्कस दिस पार्ट इन द लास्ट क्लास दैट साउंड कैनॉट ट्रेवल इन वैक्यूम साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल और साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम टू प्रोपोगेट दैन वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड स्पीड ऑफ साउंड डिपेंड्स ऑफ द इलास्टिसिटी speed of sound depends on the density uh, and the density of the medium through which it propagates so uh, speed of the sound is more in solids than in liquids and then in gases and in speed we have wavelength into frequency that is generally we give in higher classes but now to understanding for understanding purpose i have given how the sound travels in different mediums so that is required very much and in what cases the sound travel the differs so speed of sound the differs in the medium solids liquids or gases this we discussed in the last class we also discussed the various speeds of sound in different medium that is a 25 degrees celsius you have solids you have liquids you have gases and also discuss about speed of light versus sound means light sometimes what happens the speed of sound in air is about 330 meter per second but the speed of the light is much high so when a thundering is there we first see the light and then we see the sound before we don't see the sound or we don't hear the sound so light travels faster than sound so since light travels faster than sound so when the thundering strikes first the lightning is observed by us and then we hear the sound so today we will be doing the vibration part and in this vibration part we will be doing time period we will be doing frequency and we will be doing amplitude so what is vibration and oscillation you can see i have given a pendulum here the pendulum is the middle and the pendulum swings like this if i take a pen like this this is the middle point and the pendulum swings like this like this so this is the middle point it goes here then here here then here so this means it is going to a and coming back to again b then again a then again b so this is the motion so this is to and fro back and forth so this vibration is the to and fro back and forth of a motion and vibration is also called an oscillatory motion both are almost the same things so so the motion of the pendulum means this is the suppose the pendulum this is the middle one this is a this is a this is b this is a this is b so the motion of the pendulum from one extreme position extreme is where it can go maximum position some suppose if the pendulum is very light very light it can go like this if the pendulum is very heavy it will go like this so this is the maximum position so the from one extreme position to another extreme position this is called one oscillation this is the center of the pendulum if the pendulum goes from this to here and they in back to this so this is one oscillation from a to b so the motion of the pendulum from one extreme position to the another extreme position and back is called one oscillation means a to b it is going and it is coming again back to a so this and this one oscillation this and this second oscillation this and this third oscillation like this so oscillation means the motion of the pendulum going from at one extreme to another and then again coming back not just going so suppose if you are going from here to kamakha temple then your one oscillation will be going from here to kamakha temple again coming from coming back from kamakha temple to here that is one oscillation clear next frequency oscillation so this is one oscillation see ha huh? this is one oscillation means 1 2 3 four four oscillations so this is one oscillation from a to b and again to a this one oscillation so in one second how much oscillations can be done that is called frequency Which is one second? How much oscillation you can do? For example, frequency means how much, how much times, or how many times. Suppose if I tell you, 
were, for example, I can tell you the most popular show, Tarak Mehta Ka Ulta Chashma. Tarak Mehta Ka Ulta Chashma comes six days a week, whereas Comedy Nights with Kapil comes two days a week. So the frequency of Comedy Nights is less than Tarak Mehta. So frequency means number of times. So frequency of uh, Tarak Mehta will, will be more than uh, Comedy Nights with Kapil. And frequency of uh, Kapil Sharma show is less than Tarak Mehta Kaul Dajma. So frequency means number. So in one second, how much oscillations can it be done? It's called frequency. So frequency is the number of oscillations done in one second. One second. That is called frequency. Next. Time period. Ulta. Ulta. Time taken for one oscillation is called time period. Means suppose... One body is going from A to B and then coming back to A. So, A come karna me. If he wants to do this watch, this time taken for one oscillation is called time period. So, the time taken for one, which means if in one second many oscillations are there, then time taken for one oscillation will be less than one second. Understood my point? So, which means if the if if in one second there are many oscillations, suppose frequency is 20 suppose which means in one second it can go 20 times which means one second it can go 20 times so one time ke liye, if you for one time how much second 1 by 20 because frequency is 20 oscillations means in one second he is going 20 times so for one time how much time is taken so for one time he is taking 1 by 20 seconds so that is the time period which means time period is 1 by frequency simple so, reciprocal frequency is called the time period. As simple as that. Next. Amplitude. What is amplitude? It is going from here to here, no? Again here. Again here. Again here. This is maximum displacement. Displacement, not distance. This is center. You see O. From O to A, then B. Then A, then B. So, AB, AB is oscillation, A to B, B to A is oscillation. Amplitude is displacement, means from O, how much till A? Where is A? So, the maximum displacement of an oscillating body from its central position, here center, here center, from its central position, this is suppose this is the center, for this central position, how much is the time? How much it went? Suppose I told you heavy pendulum goes, suppose if they are. So this is the uh, amplitude. Light pendulums go further. So that is the amplitude. So if the amplitude is more, which means the displacement is more. And if amplitude is more, see, huh, very nice thing. If amplitude is more, means it is going very far away. So time taken for the oscillation will be more. Means for coming from A to B, again B to A, one oscillation. Then time taken for one oscillation will be more. So if the displacement is more, then the time taken to complete one round means one oscillation is more. But if the displacement is less, then the time taken for oscillation will be more. Which means if the displacement is more, then time period will be less. And if distance is less, time period will be more, generally. So, amplitude is the maximum displacement of an oscillating body. So, based on amplitude, time period, frequency, three factors. We will do in the next class loudness and pitch. And so what is pitch and what is loudness? What happens? Why frequency, amplitude, all these things are related with loudness and pitch. So one second students, I revise this topic. I have given some numericals. For example, if I ask you a question for, to solve, Vijay argued that frequency and time period are the same thing. Vijay argued that frequency and time period are almost the same thing. But Another person he told that no, it is not the same thing, it is different.